Now that you've learned to add script elements and to redefine them, imagine that you want to do something more ambitious. Imagine that you want to restructure your screenplay by moving a scene. It's easy. First, you may want to consider the current structure and what you want to change. Navidoc can help you there. If you move over in the uh, Navidoc panel, click the uh, Scenes tab. This shows you a list of all of your scenes. And if you click the first button on the toolbar, you're able to uh, sort them by scene number as they are now. You can group them by interior or exterior, sort them by location, sort by time of day. You have a no number of options uh, that may help you analyze your script in different ways. Click the Outline tab and you are able to see both the scene headings and the outline elements. And you're also able to uh, go up here on the uh, first button and uh, selectively hide or show different categories of elements. And uh, remember that you are able to click the little uh, downward pointing arrows here to show different levels. You're able to uh, expand and collapse the elements as you go along. So let's say that after careful analysis you decide that scene 32 should be moved in front of scene 35. Let's first enter a couple script notes here so we can uh, so it's a little bit easier to tell what's going on. We'll click the uh, notes tab here add a uh, default type note indicating where the scene begins, where it used to be Click down here and we'll add another note indicating the end of the scene. Go back to the uh, Outline tab in Nav Navidoc. I just clicked the Outline tab. Now watch as I click on Scene 32, hold down the left mouse button and move down here. That uh, heavy black line indicates where the scene will end up when I release the mouse button, which I am doing now, and there it goes. So let's uh, check that scene, which is now scene 34, and we can see that this is in fact the scene, the previous scene 32. It's now right in front of scene 35 as we wanted it to be, and the notes indicate that we have gotten all of it. Here's where it ends, and there's where it begins. Another way to move a scene is the old-fashioned cut and paste method. In the screenwriter, that's made a little easier by letting you select an entire scene. Here's how. Place your cursor in the scene that you want to move. Now we are in scene 34. Go up to the Edit menu and go down to Select Special. You can see a little pop-out menu here. Go down to Scene. And as you can see here, the entire scene is selected. So you can just uh, cut and paste. And there's yet a third way to move a scene that helps you to more visually understand what's going on. And that is to use the index cards. So let's go down to the lower left-hand corner, find the button for index cards, and click that. Here we are in index card view. Let's first confirm that this properly reflects the uh, move that we just made. So let's find 30, scene 35, which is right here. We'll click to select that. If you'll remember, we had moved what was initially scene 32 to in front of scene 35. And look up here, and there it is. That's scene 34, and it does in fact have that uh, scene note saying this is the scene being moved. It was initially 32, interior treehouse. On further reflection, let's say that you have now decided this scene, the initial scene 32, should really be in front of scene 37. How do we do that? First, go down to the lower right corner, find the two radio buttons, and make sure the shuffle radio button is selected. Next, click the scene you want to move. Up in the upper right corner, you see that the cursor now changes into the picture of a hand holding an index card. Next, click the card you want to be in front of, which is 37. We click here, and the move has been made. Look up here. Notice that the uh, scene number has not changed. It still says 34, but this is now immediately in front of scene 37, and the 
script note here does reassure us that this was the initial scene 32 that we were moving. With scenes now where you want them, let's consider headers and footers.